In this video series, I covered the eight domains of the cloud security maturity model that I developed for Sense Cloud Security. The maturity model helps organizations understand the numerous key decisions needed for an organization's successful cloud transition and creating a plan accordingly. My name is Jason Lam, and I'm a principal instructor for the Sense Institute. In the domain of security governance, there are three attributes, cost management, cloud governance committee, and lastly, the security policy. For cost management first, this area in security governance involves systematically tracking, attributing, and managing costs associated with each cloud resources. It begins with ad hoc cost attribution and involves to implementing detailed cost management policies, aligning with budgeting effort with business goals, and adjusting architecture patterns to optimize financial efficiency. We can move on to Cloud Governance Committee, which is a organization that is responsible for making decisions related to cloud governance, involving stakeholders for multiple departments. Initially, it focuses on forming an executive alliance and identifying stakeholders, then progresses over time to establish a more formal charter, operating rhythm, and key performance metrics. The committee's role is continuously optimized to ensure alignment with organizational goals and adapt to feedbacks. And then for security policy, this particular attribute pertains to establishing and refining security control and procedures to protect organizational assets in the cloud. Starting with basic policy that your organization may already have may not ad fully address the cloud specific needs. It evolves to define detailed technical guardrails and align with industry best practices. The process includes continuous policy communication, enforcement through, very importantly, automated means, and adjustments based on feedback and changing industry standard over time. With those three attributes, you can download your free copy of the maturity model that I was describing at sans.org slash CSMM. Making informed security decisions while adopting the cloud necessitates understanding the technology, the process, and people associated with the cloud environment. That's why I wrote SANS LDR 520 Cloud Security for Leaders the course. This course focuses on locking down the environment, securing the data, maintaining compliance, enhancing security visibility to the operations and managing security response on a continuous basis by using the cloud security maturity model as the foundation. Establish and grow your cloud security program to support the fast pace of today's business transformation with how-to skills that turn theory into action. Learn more about SANS LDR 520 Cloud Security for Leaders and the various training modalities to choose from at sans.org slash LDR520 and explore a free hour of the training material while you are there.